Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. Now you can pick these up from apple.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The prices range from 700 to 1,350 bucks. Now let me break it down for you real quick. The iPhone 11, 64 gigs, you're looking at 700 bucks. 128 gigs, 750 bucks and 256 gigs, 850 bucks. Now it comes in six different colors. You got white, black, green, yellow, purple, and red. Now for the iPhone 11 Pro, 64 gigs, 1,000 bucks. 256 gigs, 1,150 bucks, and 512 gigs, 1,350 bucks. Now it comes in four different colors. You got space gray, gold, midnight green, and silver. Now, I'm not going to waste your time going through all of the specs. It's iPhone season. Everybody already knows them. But one thing to keep in mind, with the iPhone 11, you got a 6.1-inch LCD display. And with the iPhone 11 Pro, you got a 5.8-inch OLED display. So this one is a little bit smaller and has a better display. But this one is a lot cheaper. All right, so let's unbox these and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my wife. White shoes, white calm shoes. down. All right, so let's start off with the iPhone 11, also known as the peasant phone. Now, on a side note, when I say the peasant phone, I'm just joking, all right? Please stop DMing me talking about, oh, I got a house, I got a car, I got kids in college. I don't give a fuck. I'm just joking. All right, y'all gotta stop being so sensitive. When I say the peasant phone, all that means is the least expensive phone from that carrier or that manufacturer. Same way we call the Galaxy S10e, the Peasant Galaxy, the Pixel 3a, the Pixel 3a, that's the Peasant Pixel. Same thing, this is the Peasant iPhone, but it's just a joke, all right? It's just a joke. Hey, Peasants Unite, I got one right here, so I'm a Peasant too. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. Now, I'm a real Peasant because I got 64 gigs. Now, I know what y'all gonna say. Who the fuck is buying a 64 gig iPhone? Real simple. A lot of us is walking around with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, best phone on the market, and you're looking for a secondary phone, or you want an iOS phone. All right, you got, you got your Note 10, you got your Pixel, you got your Huawei phone, your heavy hitter, and your girlfriend got an iPhone, and you want to be down with FaceTime, you want to be down with iMessage, you want to be down with the cute emojis, but you ain't trying to spend a thousand bucks, cue the peasant phone, all right? Let's keep it moving. All right, here we go. Nice, clean, white box. Giggity. Let's see what it is. Now, of course, I went with the red. Right. Woo. Now, let me do the smell test on this one. Mm. This one smells like savings. All right, this is pure savings right here. 700 bucks on this to have full iOS features. You really can't complain. All right, you really can't complain. You got your product red information, usual books and shit, Apple Troll stickers, SIM ejection tool, pluck them and file them. You got your charging brick. <laughs> Not the fastest charger brick in the world, but it's a charging brick. It does work. And of course, you got your Apple headphones, lightning adapter, and your lightning adapter cable. That's pretty much it. All right. <laughs> Hashtag peasants unite. This looks good, though. Now, I got to say it. This one feels good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Same glass panel, front and back. Let's power this up. Wait for that big George Jefferson hairline. Now let me pull out iPhone 10R. You see the difference for yourself? Now this one, the 10R is a little bit more red. All right, so this is that red red. This is more of a lighter red. This kind of has these uh, pastel colors to it. Personally, the 10R red looks a little bit better. Let's see, as far as size and width, exactly the same. There's your George Jefferson hairline. All right, moving on up. Simple and straightforward. Now, let's take it over to the iPhone 11. Now, on a side note, when I did my unboxing the other day, a lot of y'all heard me wrong. I said Apple sent me the wrong phone. They didn't send me a free phone. I, I ordered the, t uh, ordered the uh, 11 Pro Max, and I ordered an 11 Pro. They sent me two Pro Maxes. So it wasn't free. I paid the Pro Max. I paid the uh, actual iPhone Pro price, but they sent me a Max, and I'm keeping it. All right, <laughs> this one right here. Now, I'll probably get this one away or sell it. We'll see. But this one, we got space gray, 
peasant status. All right, 64 gigs. Now, look, I, I know I'll be cracking jokes, calling phones peasants and all that. I'm a peasant. I got a 64 gig iPhone on, on deck. Peasants unite. Now, let's take a look at the space gray color. Rah. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells clean. <laughs> this one smells clean, crispy. Is this my favorite color? No, right, it's really not. No need to go through all of this. Same shit in the box. This time you got your 18, uh, 18 watt fast charging brick. Same headphones, same US um, lightning, uh, <laughs> lightning adapter cable. That's pretty much it. Now, just in case you wanted to see the difference, here's the iPhone 10s and here's the iPhone 11 Pro. Now, personally, I hate both of these because they're just too small for me, but ladies with small hands, or fellas with small hands, or people that just want small phones, this might be the size that you want. This is a 5.8 inch display. These have the same size, height and width. Now, let me just address something real quick. When I did my unboxing the other day, a lot of people were saying, oh, I'm some kind of Apple sellout. I'm an Apple fanboy because I said I like the, because I said I like the build quality. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Look at the difference. Now, I like to rock my phones butt naked, raw dog with no case. Look at the difference. When you pull this out and you put it on the table, look how it's going to look. Compared to this one, no fingerprints. Now, let's do a little wipe down. A quick wipe down, and there it is. You ready to stunt? With this one, you got to get maximum wipage. So when you're sitting at the airport and you're ready to take your flex picture, this happens to me all the time when I want to put my phone on the table next to my passport, you know what I'm saying, next to my margarita to let y'all know I'm doing it big. If I don't got a tissue or microfiber cleaning cloth, I got to use my shirt and get this nice and shiny for the picture. With this one, no smudges on the back, no fingerprints. Personally, I like it better. Now, as far as the cameras, I don't like it. Now, it's going to grow on you. It's not the worst in the world. It's not the ugliest. On different color iPhones, they do tend to look different. Let me see. Do I got the gold? Yeah. The cameras, you see on the gold iPhone, you could clearly see the three cameras. It's a lot more pronounced. With the space gray and the green, especially with the space gray, it kind of blends in. The green is my favorite color. This is the dopest one. But like I was saying, personally, I don't like the three cameras on the back. But if you're all about that flex life, you need the three cameras. All right, so when you're sitting up in Starbucks and you pull out your phone, look at the difference. All right, here's the 10s Max. When you're chilling like this and somebody walk by, they're going to say, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> he's a peasant. He's broke. All right, he's, the, he's still living it last year. When you pull out this one, it might not be the sexiest. All right, you might not like it but it's gonna help with your flex factor. Now I know what some of y'all gonna say, oh, who cares about the flex and all that? I know, I'm just kidding. Everybody don't care about that. But some people do, some people do. But I will be honest with y'all. As much as I don't like the way the three cameras look, they're functional. This is one of those situations, I'll give you a perfect example. Say you bought some rain boots, all right? Say you ordered some Timberland rain boots online and they got delivered to your house and they was purple. You ordered black. They was purple with lavender and green stripes going down the side. Some ugly looking shits, right? But you put them on and your feet stay dry. You could walk around in a blizzard, in a monsoon, and your feet stay dry. You're not really gonna care about how it looks if they if it works that good if the boots work that good and they keep your feet that dry you might be willing to overlook the fact that they are purple and they do have lavender stripes same thing with this all right as much as i'm not really feeling the camera the way it looks the picture quality on this iphone <laughs> right here and i've been using this one for a couple of days the picture quality is insane the video quality ridiculous all right not ridiculous ridiculous I right, make sure you put the C. Ridiculous. It's insane. You might not like the look, but when you take those portrait mode shots or you pull out your phone real quick and you go to take a picture, you're going to love how these pictures look. So don't let the ugliness, <laughs> don't let the ugliness distract you from the fact that the camera is ridiculous. Now, I'm waiting for the Pixel 4, but as of right now, this might be my favorite camera phone. We got to see. Now, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, it's right up there, but for point and shoot status and portrait mode shots, this is crazy. Now, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does have more shooting modes, all right? It does have more filters. It's, it's more fun, 
I got to keep it real. Galaxy Note 10 Plus, still the best phone in the market. But this ain't bad. All right, this ain't bad at all. All right, so we got the Peasant phone and we got the 11 Pro. I'm going to pause the video. I'll drop some of my information in and then I'll do a quick side by side so you can see the difference between LCD display and OLED display. I right, the difference between 700 and 1000 bucks. Both of these are 64 gigs, so the main difference is 300 bucks. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I promised y'all I was going to keep this video short and sweet because I'm doing an iPhone movie next week, and I'm going to tear these phones apart from top to bottom and let y'all know everything that I like and everything that I don't like about all of these iPhones. Now, on a side note, it's a lot of shit that I don't like about these iPhones. So shout out to everybody that's on Team iPhone. I understand if you unsubscribe to my channel after you see that video because it's not going to be pretty. But y'all know my motto, no fanboy shit going on over here. I only pledge allegiance to the hotness. Everything that's hot about these phones, I'm going to let y'all know. But if you're coming from an Android phone and this is your first iPhone, you're going to be disappointed. There's a lot of things that you can do on your Android phones that you're going to miss on these iPhones. Just to name a few, no notification LED, no haptic feedback when you're typing on the keyboard, no always on display, no fingerprint sensor, no movable widgets on your home screen, no split screen multitasking, no expandable memory, no app drawer. That's just to name a few. All right, I got a full list ready to go. Anyway, real quick, you got yourself an iPhone XR. Should you upgrade and get the iPhone 11? As of right now, I would say no, unless you want a better camera. Now, uh, on paper, you're supposed to get better battery with this. We'll put it to the test. But the only differences that I'm noticing so far is the camera. As far as performance, speed-wise, display, everything feels and looks the same. All right, so if you really care about the camera, that might be a reason to upgrade. But if you don't care about it that much, I would say keep your iPhone XR. Now, what's the difference? between the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro that makes it worth 300 bucks. First of all, you got the camera. That's gonna be the biggest difference on these phones, the camera. You're getting a way better camera experience. And the second biggest difference is the display, LCD versus OLED. Now let me show you what that looks like. Let's open up both of these real quick. Let me put in my pattern, uh, pattern. That's another thing, no pattern. Had to put my pin in. Check this out. Now here's your OLED. All right, here's your LCD, here's your OLED. Both of these are set to max brightness. You can see for yourself. The iPhone 11 Pro has a way better display. Now, it's not even close. It's not even like you pull these both out. Oh, they pretty much look the same. No. All right, the OLED panel looks way better. So if you're buying this as your main phone, and this is the phone that you're going to be looking at all day long, <laughs> why not get a better display? Now, it's going to cost you an extra 300 bucks, but you are getting that camera. All right, so you're going to have better cameras. Let's open up the camera real quick. Let's see what we got here. All right, so you got all the same shooting modes. All right, so you got time lapse, slow motion, video, photo, portrait mode, and panoramic. Both of them shoot 4K, 60 frames per second. But if you notice, let's try the wide angle lens on the 11. Okay, that's wide. And you got wide angle lens on the 11 Pro, but you also got that zoom. Now I'll take some test pictures. Look at what the cam with the camera's open. You can see the difference between OLED and LCD also. You see it just looks more vibrant and bright. Look, let's go back over to Samsung.com. All right, Samsung.com is a website you go to if you want to buy a real phone. Check this out. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Look for yourself. That's the difference. All right, OLED versus LCD, brighter and more vibrant, and your color's going to pop. Now, the iPhone 11 is a little bit bigger. All right, so let's go to main home screen. If you notice, you got a little bit more screen real estate. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But as far as performance-wise, both of them got the A13 chip. They're going to be nice and smooth. They're not going to lag. It is what it is. Now, let me show you a couple of cases real quick. All right, so let's get into the Ghost Tech series. 
Now, all of these cases you could get from Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. The prices range from 15 to 50 bucks. Now, on a side note, y'all already know how I do. We're going to get into all the other cases later. So we'll do Spigen, UAG, VRS, Poetic, Incipio, you name it. These are the ones that I got first, so we'll check these out. First up, let's take a look at the Covert 3. Now, this one's going to run you 15 bucks. Drop tested, non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty. Let's see, you got your soft touch buttons, slim precise fit, diamond grip, multi-layer technology. All right, 15 bucks on this one. Now, we don't got to go through all of the packaging. Y'all already know. You got your Ghost Tech Troll stickers. I'll show y'all one time, and this way we can keep it moving quick. All right, Covert 3. Now, this is a simple case. We'll slap this one on. All right, wrong, wrong phone. Well, real quick. On the side, you see you got your diamond grip technology. All your cutouts, all your buttons, reinforced corners. All right, we'll slap this on the 11. Check this out. Let's hit that power button. There's your power button. Let's check wireless charge. Wireless charge on deck. And of course, you got a nice amount of razivity. So this one is Slam Boy certified. Now they also make it for all of the other iPhones. You've already seen it for the Max. I'll show you what it looks like on the 11 Pro. Slaps right on. Now this is the case I was rocking all day on my 11 Pro Max. Simple case, reinforced corners and razivity, that's all you need. And of course, wireless charge. Covert 3. Now this one has the smoked out color. I'll show you the difference. One is crystal clear and one has that hint of gray to it. Covert 3. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up, we'll take a look at the Cloak 4. Now this one's gonna run you 20 bucks. All right, shoes, calm down. Drop tested, non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty. Let's see, you got your soft touch buttons, slim precise fit. Okay, here we go, Cloak 4. Now check this one out. This one has little branding, diamond grip pattern on the side, reinforced corners. All right, you see how thick that bump is? Slap this one on. All your cutouts, all your buttons line up. Let's check wireless charge. All right, shoes, my bad. <laughs> There's your wireless charge. Now, let's see how it looks on the iPhone 11. Okay, flick of the wrist. Same thing. Diamond grip pattern on the side. Reinforced corners. Nice amount of razivity. Slam boy certification. And of course, wireless charger on deck. Now, a lot of people always ask me, why am I so rough with these phones? If you get a nice case, you could be rough. All right, these phones, they're not, they not cheap garbage. They're not going to break. Trust me. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up, let's take it over to the Atomic Slim. Now, this one is going to run you 40 bucks. This is my favorite case from Ghost Tech. All right, you got your aluminum frame. Y'all know I had to say it. Military grade, limited lifetime warranty. Drop tested, slim precise fit, non-slip grip, multi-layer technology. Now, check this one out. This is a dope case right here. All right, so you got your hard shell on the back, so you got protection for the back glass. You got your aluminum buttons with your aluminum frame. I know, I know. Let's slap this one on. Okay, the little screenshot. <laughs> nice amount of razivity on this one. So it is Slam Boy certified. Let's check that button. There's your button. Let's check wireless charge. Wireless charge on deck. All right, we'll take a look at the Atomic Slim uh, in red. Now, if you got a red iPhone, you're going to need this one right here. This one is sick. All your cutouts, all your buttons. This one has that cold feel to it, though. I love it. All right, we'll slap this one on. Now, this is the case that I'm going to be rocking for the rest of the day. Oh, look at this one. That's that red on red. All right, nice red trim. Everything is protected. I right, shoes don't jump. Slam Boy certification. Wireless charge on deck. Buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Everything works. 
but you're going to like the way this one feels. Like this one has a nice feel. All right, Atomic Slim, let's keep it moving. Now, let me peel these off so y'all can see how hard it is to take off. Not hard at all. Okay. Giggity. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got. Next up, let's take it over to the Nautical 2. Now, this one's going to run you 50 bucks. Limited lifetime warranty, military grade. This is extreme proof. All right, you see rain, slow, <laughs> rain, snow, sleet. Drop test it. Now, this is going to be two-part style case. Okay, let me file all these boxes to the side. Now, this one comes with troll stickers, of course. You got a little lanyard loop, microfiber cleaning cloth. Keep that back nice and crispy. We'll slap this one on. Matter of fact, before I slap it on, you see the diamond grip pattern on the side. This one has screen protector on the front. And you have a, uh, a little port to cover up your lightning adapter or your lightning slot, whatever you want to call it. Let's slap this one on real quick. Okay. Wrong phone. Okay. <laughs> that helps. Drop the back end like that. Drop the second layer. And all you got to do is work it around. All right, so get a nice tight seal. Seal everything up. Take your time. And there it is. Now, this one right here, this is full protection. All right, so you drop your phone, you're good to go. You got a screen protector over the front. Protection on the back. Look at all your cameras. Let's check wireless charge. Wireless charge on deck. Let's hit those buttons. There's your buttons. You got your... Now, you can peel this sticker off. Let me put my code in real quick. I think I had too many wrong entries. All right, we'll do that again. All right, so you are going to get screen responsivity in this. Okay, I had to look, look on that one. Works through the screen protector. And if you want to, add your little lanyard loop. So when you go to the beach, rock this around your neck, do what you do. Full protection on this one. Now, let me show you what it looks like for the uh, iPhone 11. Package is trolling. All right, here we go. Okay. Now, it comes in a bunch of different colors. We'll slap the iPhone 11 in. Same thing. Pop it right in. Put your back plate on. And just seal it up. Now, this is going to be a little bit more water resistant. So when you go to the beach, you don't want to get salt water into your iPhone. Even though the iPhone is water resistant, salt water will kill this phone. Look how big that button is on the side. You can't miss it. All the cutouts, everything lines up. Now, this seal is in here. I got no nails. Let me see. Can I open this up? Let me grab a little knife. What do I got on deck? Just want to show you all what this looks like. Okay. Look at that. Nice little seal in there. Tighten that up. You're good to go. Nautical, <laughs> Nautical 2. 50 bucks. Now, I got one more case I want to show y'all. All right, so next up, we got the Exec 4. Now, this one is going to run you 30 bucks. This case is sick. All right, this is a modular design. So, you got your four-card wallet, military grade, limited lifetime warranty, detachable wallet, and magnetic mount. Check this one out. Now, here's your case. All right, so we'll slap the phone in. Look at the razivity on this one. Slam Boy certified. On the side, you see you got all that textured pattern. That's going to give you a lot of grip. All your cutouts, all the buttons line up. Everything works. And on the back, here's your wallet. All right, so you could drop some money in here, drop your debit card, driver's license, do your thing. Now, this also has a magnetic plate built into the back, so you can pop this right in your car. Now, say you want to take this one off, slide this right out. Now, here's your wireless charge. Wireless charge on deck. Now, this is the one I've been using all day. Let me show you, let me show you something sick. You can also get attachments for this case. So, you see how I just slid the back piece off? You can slide on the clip, put it on your belt. You can slide on the bike mount. Attach it right to your bike. You got an armband. 
So you want to uh, wear this in the gym, attach it just like that. So you're going to sell a wireless charging clip also. Modular design. This is pretty dope. But when I go to the gym, I like to rock no wallet. So I take my debit card, driver's license, put it right in here. And when I get inside, pop this right out, rock out. This is pretty dope. Exec 4, 30 bucks. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, both of these phones are major go. If you like iPhones, then you're going to love these. If you hate iPhones, then you're going to hate these. It's just that simple. Now, for the peasant phone, 700 bucks, the price is right. So if you're buying this as a backup phone, maybe you're buying it for your kids or your parents, or you already got a flagship Android phone and you just want to play around with iOS, or you want a cheap iPhone that's not going to break your pockets but still has iOS 13 and a great camera, go with this one. Now, if you want the big boy, the flagship, the heavy hitter, the top of the food chain, but you just want it in a smaller form factor, go with the Pro. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. And like I said, if there's anything y'all want me to cover specifically when I do the movie, leave it in the comments. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. Thank <laughs> you.